Hey guys, this is John Beccaro and it's Trivia Tuesday. So, what's your favorite part about living in Arizona and why? First time I came to Arizona was around four years ago. I played for FC Tucson and for summer and it was a great time. And honestly, being back here, I love the weather. I love um, just the amount of restaurants there are here in Phoenix and being able to go on hikes and go in the Grand Canyon and and all the amazing things that you can do out here. What's your fav favorite place to hike? Uh, going up, so before uh, preseason, we, we went up uh, Camelback, and that was a pretty cool hike. Uh, being able to see the whole city uh, from up there was pretty cool. Uh, so I would say that's my favorite place. What's your favorite episode of The Office? That's, that's very tough, because I've watched it like five times, and it's hard to choose one. But I would say maybe uh, when they're doing the Christmas gift exchanges. Presents are the best way to show someone how much you care. It is like this tangible thing that you can point to and say, hey man, I love you this many dollars worth. I think that episode is super funny. Um, but honestly, it's like really hard for me to choose one. Star Wars or Star Trek? I can't say I'm a big fan of either. But I have watched Star Wars and I've never watched Star Trek, so I'm gonna go with Star Wars. If he could ask the supporters any question, what would that be? Um, I would just say like, what can we do as players to make your experience better? Um, I know uh, we do try to interact a lot with you guys, but what do you think uh, we could like do better or just any tips? Favorite ethnic cuisine? I love Spanish food. Uh, obviously, so that would probably be my favorite. And if not, I do love like sushi and that stuff a lot too. Krillin wants to know who is your favorite Disney princess and villain. So, growing up, my favorite Disney movie was Anastasia. I think that's how you say it in English. Um, so I've, I don't know if she's a princess, but um, that's my favorite. Uh, and villain. Uh, how, I, how do you call it on Peter Pan? Like Hook, Mr. Yeah, so that, I think that's my favorite. Yeah. That Peter Pan. If I could only find his hideout, I'd trap him in his lair. All goals are special, but which is the favorite one you have scored? I know you guys want me to say it's my butt goal, but I can't give you guys that. Um, I think my favorite goal was the free kick that I scored here. Um, uh, it was just super cool to score at home, and just the atmosphere on a dollar beer night was unbelievable. So I would say that's my favorite goal. Honestly, yeah, I'm looking for another bug goal in 2020. I've been practicing a lot. So best sauce for chicken, hands down, Thai uh, like Thai chili sauce, uh, like kind of like sweet and sour. Um, definitely my favorite. Lucian wants to know, do you know any Fortnite dance move? Playing ads? If so, game on. I don't really play Fortnite. Like I know some from uh, just like everyone doing them, but uh, I don't know if I can do them right now. I love Spanish music, so I love like dancing reggaeton or bachata, like that's my vibe, so. DC or Marvel, I think I like Marvel better. Um, I'm like a huge like, Spider-Man fan, so. My youngest wants to know how much do you like your life? I can say that I'm super fortunate to do what I love every day. Uh, I'm super thankful for that. And I try to live my, dad, my life like that, being thankful for every opportunity I get to do what I love on the field and uh, enjoy my life out of soccer, you know, uh, surround myself with, with good friends, my family, that's super important to me. So, so obviously I, I love my life. I'm very thankful and, and I try to live my life like that. Nike or Adidas, um, so I like them both to be honest, it would be hard for me to choose one. Um, I kind of switch back and forth between Nike and Adidas depending on my mood. Uh, I change my cleats a lot, so it's just depending on, on, on what I'm playing at that point. Where do you shop? Uh, his outfits are always on point. Well, thank you. Um, I actually buy a lot of stuff at Zara. It's like Spanish store that they actually have here in Phoenix too. Um, so I buy a lot of stuff there and then I have like my three, four brands that I really like. Um, but I do buy a lot of stuff back home. Um, just, I think Europe has like way more options than, than here. I normally wear like jeans and a plain t-shirt, but I do choose my shoes first and then I go from there. So first thing I choose is my shoes. 
and then depending on the shoes that I want to wear, I choose whatever clothes I want to wear. So favorite sport, not named soccer or football. I do love tennis, watching tennis. I'm not great at it, but I do love like watching tennis. It's like super big in Spain. I love going to the NBA and watching basketball games. When I was in college, I used to go to literally any sport because I just enjoy it. Watching sport, the other day I got to go to the NHL game and that was, the Coyotes game was amazing. Um, so I love sports, you know, I think uh, any opportunity to go and see um, all these talented people, it's, it's unbelievable. I got to go to watch the Raptors against the Lakers last year. Um, so that was pretty cool, watching LeBron and um, I've been like a Raptors fan since I was there in Toronto and, and I got to meet like Marcus Gasol and stuff. So they got me tickets for that game, so that was pretty dope. It's a hot dog a sandwich. I'm sorry that you're really thinking about this so much that you have to ask me, but uh, I'll say yes. I'm gonna call it a sandwich. What will be the most memorable moment that you remember about the amazing career of your dad? So I actually never got to watch my dad play. He retired like a month after I was born, but obviously like looking at videos and all the accomplishments he, he had as a, as, a, as a football player, um, he's like very well known because he scored a very important goal for Barcelona in the Champions League uh, to help him reach the final, which they won that year. So um, I can't say that I watched it live, but Looking back into his career, that was probably my favorite moment. What would you want to be doing if you were a soccer player? So that's like pretty easy for me because like I love soccer so much that I don't think I could like live without it. So it'd either be like a soccer coach, uh, anything that would like keep me around the game, I would want to do. What came first, chicken or the egg? Um, I'm not a scientist, but um, I'm gonna go with the egg. If you were alone in a desert island and could only have one song on your playlist, what song would that be and why? So this just changes like basically week, every week. Like I just find new songs and, and jam to them like constantly. Um, right now, um, right now maybe Funeral um, but by Mike Towers. It's a Spanish song. Um, that's what I'm jamming to right now. Uh, what's your favorite vacation spot? for water activities. I can say I've done a lot of water activities, but like, I love going back home in Spain. I live in a small town, 30 minutes away of Barcelona, and has beautiful beaches, and um, you can do all sort of water sports, so I would recommend that. Um, last six years I've been in the US, and the off season's only in Christmas, so I haven't really been able to do anything in the water, but if you have any free time, I would recommend it. When not watching film on opponents, what do you watch? So I'm watching Netflix whenever I'm not on the field. That's probably what I'm doing, that or drinking coffee. So uh, I do watch The Office on replay almost every night just because like it's easy to watch and I just literally know it by heart and I still enjoy it as day one. Uh, but I love a, a lot of crime shows too, like crime documentaries. They have a bunch of Netflix that I, that I love. I probably watch them all, but if not, if you have any recommendations, just send them to me. How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? A lot. Thank you very much for sending me all your questions.